Good morning, all. How are we this morning? Good morning, Russell. Good morning, everyone. Morning, morning Russell. Russell. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Peace be with you all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we come to you this morning as we start a new day. And we want to thank you for giving us another day to our life. We offer this first part of that day to you as our thanksgiving, as our worship, as our sacrifice. And we begin our day and our prayer in your name, our God, our Father, the maker of all, the creator, the one who loves us unconditionally. And we pray in the name of Jesus, your son. The king of kings, the lord of lords, the rider on the white horse. The one who gave of his all. And did not compromise on his obedience to you at any stage. Always depending on you. Always trusting on you, on you, the maker of all. The word himself who became flesh, who dwelt amongst us. And as we read now, he becomes flesh within us through the inspiration given us by the Holy Spirit, through the revelations that he gives us. And we pray in the name of the Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus, that very presence of Jesus in our hearts and with us. Every single day, the Spirit of the Father, the Maker. The one who proceeds from the Father. Symbol of His power. He is our advocate and our guide, our teacher. And our friend who comes to live in us. The symbol of humility, patience, who never gives up on us. We thank you, Father, for giving of your presence to us. Never giving up on us. Never turning your back on us. No matter how much we turned away from you. No matter how much we sin. No matter how much we rebelled against you, Father. You still love us with an everlasting love. You still love us with an unchangeable heart. And this morning, Father, we want to thank you for blessing us with this opportunity to come to your presence. To be with you, to talk to you, to hear from you. To share with you all our concerns, our cares, our worries. All the good things that have happened to us. Father, we thank you for the gift of life. For adding another day to our life this morning. We thank you for that privilege. That we are here in your presence. You have called us. We thank you for the opportunity to come together and pray as a family for ourselves and for our families, for others. We thank you, Father, for the gift of nature around us. All the things that are freely available to us that you created for us to behold and be stewards of. So many times we ignore all of it. Fail to appreciate all the good things you have given us. Simply because there is no price tag attached to it. Simply because we do not pick it out of a shelf. Simply because we do not pay for it. We fail to thank you, Father, in many occasions of our life. And many a times we think that we are able to do things of our own, of our own skill, of our own talents, of our own capabilities, forgetting where that talent, skill and capability came from. 
many times we carry that spirit of rebellion where we do not want to follow your ways, your directions. And we think we have it all, we know it all, we can do it all, we can do it our way. And you, Father, have given us a free will as the Father, giving free will to his sons, to his daughters. You give us the opportunity to do as we like, or the opportunity to follow your instruction. And most of the time we do not know that this book of instruction that you have given us, Jesus himself in the word, that word which carries secrets, mysteries, that can lead us to prosperity, to life in abundance that Jesus came to give us. We fail to see that. We fail to live by it. We fail to even open that book and look at it. And all we want to do is turn away from you. Today we want to pray against that spirit of rebellion, Father. At the beginning of our rebellion, the beginning of man's rebellion against God was and is the lack of a thankful heart. It started off with Satan's rebellion when he had everything. But Isaiah 14 verse 12 to 15 says, How have you fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Son of the morning, who was blessed to be that son of the morning. How are you cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. And I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. It is that sense of pride that also brings along a sense of rebellion. The spirit of pride bringing together with it seven more spirits. One of them, rebellion. Father, your word in Proverbs 28, verse 9 says, The one who turns away his ear from hearing your law, your word, even his prayer is an abomination. And we often wonder when in times of our need we have prayed. Why nothing works? Why are we not receiving a blessing? Your word in Timothy verse chapter 4 verses 3 to 4 says for the time will come when they will not tolerate sound doctrine but according to their own desires will multiply teachers for themselves because they have an itch to hear something new. They will turn away from hearing the truth and will turn aside to myths. And this is exactly what is happening this day, Father. People have come up with their own impressions, with their own meanings and understandings of what God and religion is. You have become merely a subject of discussion, a subject of people coming up with new ways and giving you a new identity of what they believe you are. Turning away from you to do their own thing. And a lot of it also has to do with our modern day life, Father. Where our phones, our money, and everything else has become more important than you are. And they do not want to come back. They do not want to see the one that has given them this capability to have all these luxuries in life. Psalm 119, verse 67 says, Before I was afflicted, I went astray. But now I obey your word. Yes, Father. It's only until we are afflicted 
until we feel that trouble, that pain, that we want to call on your name. When all else doesn't work, then we call on you. If everything is going smooth, we did not need you. For all the times we ourselves in our own lives have done this and have failed to recognize your presence, Lord, we ask for forgiveness. You as our Father have always given us and continue to give us. But we have failed to acknowledge you as that provider, as that giver, as that daddy who is ever there for us even when we turn away from you. We ask for forgiveness, Father. For all our times, you taught us, O Holy Spirit. You spoke to us. and We could hear your direction and still ignore it. To do something of our will. Our kingdom come and our will be done, not yours. Is what we always thought, Father. For all those times we ask for forgiveness. For all the times we fail to recognize your presence in our lives. Your guiding direction. We've ignored your word. We ask for forgiveness, Lord. And as we pray this morning, we also pray for all those we now remember. Our own children who have no interest in understanding the Bible. Our own family who refuse to believe in the Holy Spirit. Our friends who do not want to know who Jesus is. Our work colleagues, our work colleagues and people in our community for all the times they want to enjoy their life on their terms and do not know that there is one that provides it all. We raise all of these, Father, to your altar. We raise ourselves to your altar. Weak as we are and fail in that discernment to see your hand at work in our lives, O oh Lord, and think in pride that it is our own capability. We ask for that grace for obedience this day. We ask for that grace to have reverence, the fear of the Lord. For with it comes wisdom and understanding. The grace for repentance, to confess this our sin of rebellion and to turn from it. As we raise this our prayer to your altar, Father, we connect with you in spirit. We pray in the language that you gave us, a Holy Spirit, the gift of tongues. Knowing that you pray with us and as you pray with us, we ask you to search our hearts, Lord. Search our hearts. And every spirit of rebellion that is working within each of us, we come down against it. Show us, O oh Father, all that is working against your will and your word. Everything that is rebellious against you in our nature, show and reveal unto us this day. So that we come against it with our decision. And we declare in the name of Jesus. that we kick the spirit out of our lives. We make that decision this day, Father. And with your help, we bind it and we cast it out of our lives right now in the name of Jesus.
as we pray in tongues and connect with you in spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise, Praise you, Jesus. Shalala <laughs> Shalala 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord showed me a a round pond. It's like a, a it was like a, a little corrugated iron pond. It's similar to like a round garden bed. And in the bottom was all this dirt. And it represented all the things in our lives that was not of God. And the Lord took this big stick and started to stir, started to stir this dirty, murky water. He says, I'm stirring you up to get rid of this muck. The scripture I got was 1 Corinthians 2, 9 to 13. But as it is written, what no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man conceived, what God has prepared for those who love him. God is revealed to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. For what person knows a man's thoughts, except the Spirit of the man which is in him? So also no one comprehends the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is from God, that we might understand the gifts bestowed on us by God. And we impart this in words not taught by human wisdom, but taught by the Spirit, interpreting spiritual truths to those who possess the Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. The scripture for today is 1 Corinthians chapter 13. 
love. I may be able to speak the languages of human beings and even of angels, but if I have no love, my speech is no more than a noisy gong or a clanging bell. I may have the gift of inspired preaching. I may have all knowledge and understand all secrets. I may have all the faith needed to move mountains, but if I have no love, I am nothing. I may give away everything I have and even give up my body to be burned. But if I have no love, this does me no good. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Father, we ask you to stir up our lives as we continue to pray through this day. Reveal to us all that must be purged out of our being, out of our existence. So that as we study your word this evening, and as you lead us through that prayer of deliverance, let everything that is not of you and must be purged out of our lives everything that blocks our blessings and your grace from flowing into our lives. Help us identify that, Lord, and write it down on our list that we carry into that prayer of deliverance this evening. That we might be free, that that bondage might be broken, that that yoke might be taken off from our lives and we might walk under an open heaven under your blessings, guided by your hand, Father. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus. And we believe, Lord, so we say with gratitude in our hearts. Amen. 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 Please take time to make that list today. There is going to be a mighty deliverance for all those that seek it in today's evening's Bible study session. The topic is barriers to blessings. So write down all your lists of everything that has posed that block in your life and everything that you need to be freed from. There will be a mighty deliverance prayer at the end. And we believe that Lord is going to deliver and free everyone from every bondage in their life if they're willing to confess and ask him to help them get rid of it. We also pray now, Father, in a special way for our brother Vivek, our teacher, and sister Shanin, who leads us into worship, into your presence. We pray for your special protection, Father, as we stretch our hands out towards them. In your name, Jesus, let that hedge of your defense, let the light of your guidance be upon these, your servants, Father as they help us enter into your gates with thanksgiving, with praise and worship in our hearts into the tabernacle of your presence, where your word is broken open to us and revealed through the power and presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives and on these, our brother and our sister, Lord. We ask that grace and that special protection on them this day, that the devourer is kept least on a chain, that the fowler is kept away from attacking them in any way, that they are kept safe in your care, guided by your wisdom and inspired by the light of your presence. Let your glory shine down on them this day, Father. We ask this in your name as a prayer of agreement. And together we say, Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And let the grace and mercy and the peace of our Lord and the favor that follows it be multiplied in each of our lives this day. But as we are blessed, let us be a blessing to everyone around us. Bless you too. Bible Russell. study. Bless you. Oh, bless you too. Bible study bless starts at 5.30 this evening, 5.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. 
uh, with uh, praise and worship, followed by the teaching of the word after that. Please make it a point to invite everyone you can so that maximum benefit can be achieved out of this session, out of the presence of the Holy Spirit. And as many as we can bless, let us go out and bless them in the name of Jesus. Yes. Have a wonderful day, each one, and see you this evening. Thank you. 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 Thank you